Here we go. Oh. Oh, God. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Rich Devil, and today, you already know what's on deck. We got the King Taming with his idea dance packs, and you already know I cannot wait to get into it. And I checked up the MV a couple days ago, and I freaking loved it, man. From start to finish, musically speaking, it was so freaking good, and what we got to see of the choreo was mind-blowingly awesome. So yeah, I cannot wait to check it out from start to finish with that fixed cam dance practice, because y'all know me. I want to see everything. I want to see how they work levels. I want to see how they frame our man Taming. I want to see how they transition from one formation to the next. They're so good with it, and I want to see it all. Also, if you're new to me, new to my channel, I adore Tamer. He is on that old bias line. So when it comes to me and my Tamer reactions, the volume gets pretty loud. So if I were you, I would definitely lower the volume. Otherwise, the eardrums might explode. But anyways, I've been talking all long enough. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, so we've got a level the ISO on Tamer. Looks like Blanking Dance is coming in for a possible sub unit dance break. Yep. Nice. So clean. Other dance moving forward. Frame will also setting up the open formation. Love that. Going low, working the low level plane. And that hit right there. I love it. Hit with the lean cannon from front to back. So smooth. So far, definitely loving this piece. Oh, that ice. Oh, some textures, yes. Oh, that hit right there. All the classic wave. Love that. Nice heel spin. And that is a gorgeous formation right there. That frame B on Taman. <sighs> Look at them killing it. Ooh, the textures. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now I got these body rolls just feeling it. Oh, nice change in tempo right there. Ooh, the textures again, man. God. Drop of a dime, man. Changing tempo, make that hit, milk with them textures. I love it. Oh, the lady's killing it too, God. Oh my God. First off, these frames are gorgeous, but yo, everybody killing it right now. Ooh. Remember this from the MB, man. This is so dope. Oh, man. Them hits. Ooh! Oh, what's like cannon back with them textures? Oh, God. I love this. Oh. Yeah, this is a calm chance to just step out. Everyone's starting to post as they move along. Oh, I predict this is going to happen in the MB. Oh, God, look at those dancers, though, man. Look at them just flowing. Oh, yo, who is she? Oh, I love her. Wow. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> the slow, sexy body rolls, man. Oh. Oh, this piece, man. I'm like speechless. Oh, oh, that! Oh, I got a touch. And they just all pop one. Oh, that was so cute. Oh, he is so cute. No. Oh. I, can't, I can't handle the demon. A few moments later. All right, so I got round two, and this time I'll be pausing throughout just so I can talk about what I love. And the first thing I want to talk about is how much of the floor they use. Starting on this piece in the back, moving forward, having formations expand, having formations collapse, having formations break apart and reassemble on the right, reassemble on the left. They are so freaking good at utilizing the dance space, and I'm all about that. I love pieces of choreo that utilize the entire dance 
floor, all right? And Tame and his crew are so freaking good at doing that. Right here, we all see some level work being applied. So in dance, you have your level planes. You have your high, your mid, and your low. When you're standing tall dance normally, you're at that mid level plane. When you go low, like what they're doing right now, onto the ground, low level work. When you go high, basically doing lifts, doing aerials, doing anything upper hand work, that's called upper level plane. To keep a viewer engaged, you work the level plane. The high, low, high lows creates a natural tunnel effect in the eyes, drawing the viewers in, keep them engaged. One of the sciences of dance. But uh, yeah, they do that very often with this piece. And what you'll see a lot in uh, what you'll see a lot in K-pop choreo, especially with solo artists, are in love with isos. I had mentioned that during my reaction. A love with isos is basically when you have all the dancers, but your focal point, but your center drop off. Focal point stands tall, let them shine. You have reverse love with isos as well, where everyone stands tall, focal point goes low. So uh, yeah, it's just another way to uh, basically signal out uh, an individual to let them shine. This right here as well, I love this hit. The hit with the lean as a cannon from front to back. A cannon is a repeating dance movement. All right, so one dancer does something, everyone follows suit, matching them. The so texture's coming up right here too. That hit and the textures, man. So throughout my reaction, I was fanboy freaking out about the textures. I'm a sucker for textures. And for my newer viewers out there, textures are basically, think of it as like, taking your movement from water onto land. You know how when you're like swimming or underwater, when you move, there's that water pressing up against you, applying that resistance? Well, when you apply textures to your dance, it's essentially taking that resistance movement from water onto land while adding in the emotion, all right? So that's what application textures is. And they were doing that throughout this entire piece and they were doing it so freaking well, which is why I was fanboy freaking out throughout. And this hit, man, first off, Y'all told me that, uh, y'all told me in my MV reaction that, you know, I had, I had pretty much guessed correctly, Boa was the one with the killing me part. And I was like, oh, yo, the way Queen Boa hits those lines, followed by the killer choreo that always comes after it, is just huh, lethal stuff, right? Lethal, lethal stuff. Like, my only, uh, there, there are no regrets, actually. There are no, there are no regrets about this piece, but had Boa actually made a cameo, because y'all know Boa can dance, all right? She is a queen of dance, one of the, original original queens of dance in the industry like had she shown up to have like an actual piece in this choreo like oh it would be amazing <laughs> um so i didn't get that but every single time she makes her lines a killer dance break always comes through man it's so nice and this right here man i got a classic wave right there nice little heel spin this is such a gorgeous formation right so you just have your classic uh, standard frame V, where you have the V formation, tame and taking point, like that. And you have the frames, our wing frames, where you have uh, dancers, you know, flank right, or flank left, flank right, you know, basically channeling you in or tunneling you in on that centerpiece right there. It's another science to dance, framing. Um, think of it just uh, basically just putting up dancers, right, to uh, allow you to draw your attention towards what's in the middle. Think of it just like a picture. It's why we call it a frame, right? You could put a picture, you could put a painting on a wall the painting might not be as noticeable unless you frame it, right? So that, that's why we call it framing. But yo, look at that, man. Also, that is entire piece, the way they change, right there, man, right there. The way they change up the tempo, man, from slow to quick, quick to slow, hard to soft, soft to hard, man. Like they were going so rap by, so linear with it. And then as soon as they made that hit, right? That killing me, that hit right there, like they made the hit, Milked and then flowed with it with them textures and watch it watch it again That's gonna work along and then boom so nice Right here. He's got these like heavy little body rolls a lot of weight to them and the musicality of the dancers man Like every single one of them their musicality is insane, right? Musicality um, it really depends on where how you were taught dance but how i was taught was it's basically how you as a dancer interpret the music how you ride the rhythm because it's one thing for a choreographer to say hey i want you to do this 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 and this on these dance counts right um it's another thing to basically add your special kind of spice to it how you go about applying your hits how you go about dropping your stance right all those little things are on the individual dancer and as i watch piece of choreo every single one of these dancers musicality is insane man how they go about flowing is just so beautiful. Ladies come in. The ladies killing it too. Dance queens. I think left flank, back left flank right now. She was killing it with one part. With the texture application, I was losing my mind. This part too, man. I remember this from the MV. And yo, this is such a badass part. 
God, you feel their bodies shifting on them heads, man. Outstanding body control. It's right here too. Oh my god. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. Besides doing level with ISIS, besides standard B formation pyramid frames to you know allow your focal point to shine, Taman also likes to just kind of sit back and let his dancers shine, right? And the build up for this little step right here was so nice, right? So let me let me rewind real quick for you guys, right? Rewind real quick. Watch as they make these hits. Four flanks, right? Tame is kind of just working the clock right now. Four flanks, boom, make that hit. Fall by back flanks, boom. Oh my god. It actually it, they skipped one as well. So it wasn't, it was forward frames, make the hit milk. Then back back frames, make the hit milk. Then after that, immediate franks, make the hit milk. Like, nice little skip right there, nice little skip. Cause it kind of like um it changes up expectations, you know, or like as a dancer watching it, you expect like, okay, they just work their way back, but they went, they went line one, line three, line two. So that was cool to see. But watch as Tama just like kind of walks off as the dancers shift, make their hits. The focus is on the dancers. Taman like, as Taman just kind of casually goes about his lines, the focus is on the dancers. And I like that, man. I love an idol who's willing and, you know, able to let his dancers shine as well. <laughs> And this call, okay, I love this right here as well. So, that is so nice, right? I saw them building up to this in the MV, but you didn't get to see it all because they cut away to like close up on Taman, I think. But, you know, they call him up, step out, and as they step out, every single dancer from the back to the front strikes a pose, man. That's so, so nice. But yeah, watch the, watch the flow and texture right after this. Oh, look at them, they're still moving with them, man. And her right there. Left flank. Yes. Level die. So building up to this dance break. And look at that, man. That is dancing to count, right? Dancing to count while also. Yes. Dancing to count and then dancing across counts. That's what they do throughout this entire piece, right? So in dance, or in, no, yeah, in dance, you have your eight count. Or you have, well, so you have your rhythmic eight count and then you have your double measure. So a measure is four count. For us, as we learn dancing, we learn choreo, it's always to the eight counts so or two measures, right? It's basically, it allows you to rhythmically break down music, makes it easy for us to apply you know, choreo, apply dance movement to music. But, um, so what they're doing right now, right now they're, they're dancing to individual count, right? So every single count has an, a specific or a different dance movement. And then when they start flowing, they'll apply dance movement across multiple counts. So it's like movement one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then all of a sudden it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know? So it's really, it's really cool to see them shift like that. And it's very difficult to be in sync when you're doing that. When you're changing up tempo, when you're dancing two count and then dancing across counts, right? Very, very difficult to do. And so that's why you'll see not everyone is like really in perfect sync, but the fact that they're so tight regardless just tells you the talent of the crew that's around Taman right now, you know? So very, very impressive to see. This part right now, this is probably my favorite part of the choreo, man. Oh, yo, okay. So you got everyone just backing up right there, just crawling with it. You got that depth in the formation, right? You got depth in the formation, you got levels. They basically, a landscape's been created. You as a viewer have to navigate. They make that hit cannon going off to the right. Then after that, impact flowing back with them textures, man. So nice. Oh, right there too. Working the staggered levels. Everyone go, people go high, people go low, and then make that hit on that hard count. Flow again, man. Collapsing. Textures. Impact hit. Flow, wind, text, impact, come together, everyone dropping off. Like he is an angel shedding his wings, man. It's just, it's awesome stuff. It is so freaking awesome. And that's why Taman, that's why Taman is my favorite dancer in the industry, man. He always brings in the best dancers too. From left to right, every single one of these dancers were amazing, right? World class. And when it all comes together, it's always something just chef's kiss perfection right, i love it i love it i love it i love it and uh yeah i hope you i'm sure you guys do as well it's probably why you're watching and reacting to Taman. but uh, anyways guys thank you so much for checking me out if you like we see go ahead hit that like button if you like some more subscribe and if you have any questions comments concerns recommendations please leave them down below and yeah be safe out there you guys and i'll either see you in another video or i'll see you next week take it easy